I think data governance uh, is kind of like the people that are making sure that the data science and the data engineering and the business are all on the same page, right? Mm. Um, but anyways, we just didn't have too many data engineers, and I think that I think I think that actually kind of made our data science suffer quite a bit. Have you seen that in in your career? Yeah, it's generally that's that's the that's the problem. Like and and that's why why engineering right now is, I wouldn't call it booming, but it, it it's it's getting somewhere. Because I'd call it booming. <laughs> you ever call it booming? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> because people realize, as you said, you you can you can build something, you can do a, you can do some analytics, but at some point you need to automate it. At some point you need to make a reliable product out of it. And it's very, very dangerous to actually do this with without a specialist, without somebody who has, who, who can architect something, who can who can set it up, who can maintain it, right? And so, and that's that's why that's why this is coming right now. That's why that's why engineering is more more needed because a lot of companies like your fifteen people company, they are getting to that stage where they have that set up now and now they're running into problems. The stuff quits without anybody notices or on the weekend stuff doesn't work, then who takes care of everything, right? So th th this stuff where you need good engineering, that is that is the important thing. That yeah, happening. you guys like, um, just while you're talking, I kind of thought of this analogy. Data scientists, like, let's say, let's say there is a cliff, you know, and there's, or like a canyon maybe, and there's, there's two sides of this cliff and data scientists might make a bridge, you know, an analysis that, that gaps that cliff. Right. But the bridge is kind of, it's wooden, it's kind of janky. It might have some like steps missing, swings back and forth. It's like, maybe barely working. And what a data engineer's job is to come in and make it reliable. So, you know, instead of making it wood, maybe they make it out of steel or something like that. And they make it a little less wobbly. Maybe there's still some wobbles, but, <laughs> but like, you don't notice the wobbles as much that, that, that kind of, I mean, and that, that kind of goes with your, you know, your, your, uh, your mantra, right. Of, of the plumber of data science, you guys are making, you're making data science reliable, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, it, it's it's uh, as I said, it's the plumbing it if if it's if it if it's done right then it's invisible if not it's a huge mess and that is that is what what you see all the time and your 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 process that you described actually is is exactly how it happens like you have you have a small team you have the scientist the scientist builds the wooden bridge does the end does the analytics builds a simple and simple thing around it a simple platform and then at some point and engineers need to come in and need to actually take charge of it, take charge of the operations, take charge of making it better, making it more reliable, so that the scientists can actually then go back and focus on on the actual science again. Right? If you, it, of course, if you have both teams at the beginning, it's even better. But let's face it: very often you don't have that. Very often people start small. And the scientist needs to have some some knowledge of engineering to build that first bridge. Yeah, that that makes sense. Um, while I was at Exxon.